Hello, I'm Kyle the Otter here at the Far Flung Headquarters, and we are here for another treetop gathering. I am especially delighted that we have not only Jeremy the Raccoon here with us today, but we also have Celia the Lioness here from Africa. Bon dia, Kyle. Having the three of us here at the same time is exhilarating. Yeah, we make a pretty good team, huh? To start off this gathering today, we are going to have worship with our friend, Mateo. Oh, we have a friend named Tomato, that's cool. He should be arriving here any minute, and we will begin the worship. Mateo, we want to thank you again for joining us. I love it when you lead worship. This should be so much fun, as we have Celia on the djembe and Jeremy on the keyboard. All right, you ready, Tomato? You just go whatever tempo you want. I'll catch up. Get it? Because you're Tomato. I'm, all right. Oh 
ocean poured out on the feet of Jesus. We love you. And oh, how we love you. You are the one our hearts adore. Jesus, we Every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you Jesus, the name above every other name Jesus, the only one who could ever save Is worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you And only there is no one like you There is none beside you Open up my eyes in wonder Show me who you are and fill me with your heart And lead me in your love to those around me Jesus, the name above every other name Jesus, the only one who could ever save He's worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you Beside you, open up my eyes in wonder. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those around me. I will build my And I will build my life upon your love It is a firm foundation I will put my trust in you alone And I will not be shaken I will build my In you alone And I will not be shaken I will build my life upon your love It is a firm foundation I will put my trust in you and I will
beside of you Open up my eyes in wonder Show me who you are and fill me with your heart And lead me in your love to those around me Holy, there is no one like you There is none beside you Open up my eyes in wonder Show me who you are and fill me with your heart And lead me in your love to those around me I will build my life upon your love It is a I will put my trust in you alone And I will not be shaken I will build my life upon your love It is a firm foundation I will put my trust in you alone And I will not be shaken Goodbye, Mateo! You say Mateo, I say tomato. What, that's his name? We are so delighted to have you here today, Mariah. I'm so excited to be here with you. This shall be amazing. Let's listen in as she teaches us a lesson. Hmm? Hey kiddos, I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about the importance of unity. Do you know what that word means? Oh yeah, okay, unity. Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about unity. So, uh, for example, one time we was uh, trying to get in this dumpster that somebody had had a family reunion. They threw out a lot of good stuff. So we're trying to get in this dumpster. And there's about four or five of us raccoons. But, you know, dumpster's kind of tall and we can climb. But, you know, they've gotten clever with these dumpsters now. You know, they put all these angles and all these slants. There's nothing to grip onto. Anyways, unity. That's what we're talking about. Uh, what we did, we just stacked up the raccoons one at a time. I was on the top obviously because I wanted to get in there first yeah we stacked up and uh, we all got in the dumpster and then I reached down and helped them get in after I ate all the good stuff unity that's it when y'all work together uh, to get what you want unity unity is a cool word that means working together when different individuals come together and put their minds to the same task to do one job together and get it done yeah, exactly, the dumpster thing, exactly. So unity is so important in the body of Christ. Psalms tells us in the Bible that when we were in our mama's belly, that God knew exactly how we were gonna be, what we were gonna look like, and the talents that we were gonna have. And he made each of us different. Did you know that your thumbprint is totally different than anyone else's in the entire world? There's not two people that have the exact same thumbprint in the whole wide world. Celia, let me see your thumb. Oh yeah, that is different from mine, isn't it? Actually, you got a paw. I kind of got like a claw thing going on here. So I don't know if this, this is like apples and oranges. Oh, an orange sounds good right now. It's well, actually orange peel. That's usually all I ever get, but those are good too. And that's because God intended for each of us to be different. We have so many people who are great at so many different things. Like some people are good at singing. I'm not good at singing. Some people are good at dancing. Some people are good at talking to others really well. There are some who are great at basketball and some who are not good at basketball. And that's okay because we were made to be different than each other. That's the beauty of the kingdom of God. He made us different. So that way, when we come together and put our talents and our awesome minds together, we can do big things for his kingdom. Amazing. That sounds like what we do. The Bible tells us that we are the body of Christ, that he is the head and we make up all the other body parts in his kingdom. Meaning that, for example, missions is like the feet. 
They go places. They get to travel the world and they get to share the good news of Jesus with everyone that they see. And maybe the pastor is like the mouth. He gets to speak to people. He gets to help guide and lead people spiritually. And people who can worship and sing are like the hands. They get to lift their hands and lift praise high up to Jesus. We are all made for something different, for a different purpose in the kingdom. So that way, when we come together as one body and we put all of our minds together to say we want to reach the world for Jesus, we can definitely get that job done because we are supposed to be in one mind, doing one task and going forward and using all of our amazing talents to work together. And you know who else comes together to get one job done? Ants. Let's go take a field trip. So Kyle, thanks for coming on this field trip with me. I'm so excited to get to show you some stuff. So I wanted to show you some ants and how they work together because it relates to how we can work together for the kingdom of God. It's pretty cool. Did you know that a single ant can carry up to 50 times its own weight? That's pretty crazy. Can you imagine if they did all that together when they came together, how much they could carry? Let's take a look. So boys and girls, you can see here that we have an amazing ant hill. It takes a while for them to build an ant hill, but when it's finally finished, an ant hill can go down into the earth as far as 25 feet and it has tons of tunnels where all the ants can move in and through the ant hill. And this is a result of all the ants working hard together. Can you imagine if we as Christians worked like that together? If we put aside our differences, if we said, hey, you're different than me and I'm different than you, but we have the same God and we have one goal and that's to reach and tell everybody about Jesus. Can you imagine what we would get done if we worked together like that? So just like we saw with the ants outside today, together we can make a difference. When we work together and we put our minds to one task and we decide that we are going to make a difference together, we can change the world. So today I just want to encourage you, when you see someone that's different from you, someone who doesn't look like you or think like you or talk like you, don't focus on their differences. Instead, focus on what brings you together with that person and that is Jesus. So instead of focusing on our differences, let's put all of that aside and let's come together as brothers and sisters in Christ and let's change the world for Jesus. I wanna pray with you guys today. Can we just right where you're at, whether you're in your living room or your bedroom, wherever you're watching, can you just put your hands up like this in a receiving position? This is actually an act of worship called Talda. And when we do this, we are showing God that we are surrendering to His will for us. And we know in the Bible, in Matthew, it tells us that His will for us is to go and share the good news. And so right now, I just want to pray with you guys that we would all share the good news together. Can we do that today? Great! Let's just put our hands up in a receiving position before the Lord. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for my friends who are watching today. Lord, I pray that we would just begin to put aside all of our differences, everything that separates us from each other, that we would just begin to put that aside and we would focus on what brings us together and that is you. Help us to keep in mind that it is our common goal to share the good news of Jesus. Help my friends today to be bold and brave, to share you to all of their friends that they see. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to be here with you. Have a great day. What a treetop gathering we had today. Beautiful worship and a wonderful lesson on the power of unity. Oh yeah, this was great. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, Orange, you glad we did this, huh? Sell ya, sell ya, or orange you glad, sell ya. We'll see you next time here at the Treetop Headquarters with Adventures with Farflung. Sell ya. One, two, three, go!